reason we do that is there is not enough place to keep everything. Cross the cutlery, cross the clamp. Cross the clamp. Cross the cutlery. Cross the clamp. And now I will be explaining to the guest something about wardrobe salad. Okay. If you know what to say, fine. Otherwise, you will just say the procedure that you are doing. In this case, I have something to say. I will be saying, I am going to a famous wardrobe salad for you. Wardrobe salad was first invented in Wardrobe Astoria Hotel. And the best part of the salad is this salad was discovered inside a restaurant. It was not created in a kitchen. I have some apples for you, I have mayonnaise, I have cream, almonds and celery. I mix, I'm going to mix this into a salad with a smooth dressing of mayonnaise and cream. Okay, so guest has some idea of what you're going to do. The first thing that you will do is you will take about two full spoons of mayonnaise. This is for two portions of recipe that I'm telling you. And I'll add one and a half teaspoons of or about three of fresh cream. I'm going to make this into a smooth paste. What am I doing? I'm doing a creamy mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I can tell the guests that I'm making a creamy mayonnaise. This also reduces the salt effect of a ready-made mayonnaise. Okay, classically, Waldorf has lemon juice in it. No, I am not adding lemon juice. Can someone tell me why? Cream is. Because uh, of mayonnaise is already. No, I am not adding lemon juice because I added lemon on this. I squeezed lemon on the apple. It does two things for me. Number one, it prevents the apple from going black. Yes. Number two, it's already there. So anyway. It's not possible for me to chop fresh and bring, so I'll squeeze the lemon out of it. That's the reason I don't have. Once this is creamy, don't use the fork to mix it. Why? Can you see what happens? Lump goes inside, and a lot of things will get stuck. So use the fork only for scraping the lemon. Okay? Once I've done that, I have a clean clamp which I will use to transfer the apples. So you can tell the guest that you're transferring some freshly cut apples for him. The apples have already gone black, you can't say that. But <laughs> hopefully that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> now avoid trying to pick up the apple here and dumping it because then that is not showing. Okay, this is a chance to show your skills to the guest. Total <laughs> time for the entire production should be about 8 minutes. More than eight minutes, it means you are slow, including explaining and all that. These apples were how many portions? Two. Two portions. You can write one and a half apples, cubes of one and a half apples per two portions. Try not to leave anything here because the guest has paid for all this. Now I mix this. Two things I take care of while mixing. Number one, it should not be everywhere around the bowl. Oh, it should not look very ugly. Little bit is possible. I turn this. This is how you will also turn. Can you see how I am turning it? Once you see that mayonnaise has coated almost all the apples, I tell the guest I am coating the creamy mayonnaise around the apples. Now to give it some crunchiness, I will be adding crisp celery stems. Adding some healthy walnuts and raisins if you have in this case I'm using a little more since it's there. Now when you're turning, how do you know it's enough? If you can't see any green, okay, the last the last part to be coated would be the celery. If you don't see any green, that means it's coated well. So if you see, it, because the recipe is measured, I will not have too less or too much of mayonnaise. So it will be just about enough to coat. Do you see any dark green celery anywhere? Or it's already coated enough? Coated. Okay. If you don't see any dark green spots, it means it is coated. I will keep the garnish outside. The runner can clear this or I will clear. That's the time for the two plates to come out. 
Now, let's say I have only two clamps. Now I have three. But in, maybe in a practical situation, we don't have so many clamps to keep three, so I have only two. In that case, I have one clamp with mayonnaise, one clamp which is cleaner. So I will use a cleaner clamp for the garbage. Okay. We will hold this part. I'll show you once again. Okay. Now comes the base. If you notice, I'm making both the plates together. Mm -hmm. Ideally, one leaf, but I wanted to keep some good leaves for you, so I've taken two torn leaves, which is pretty good. Now I'll proceed to make both the plates together. I will take one helping of mayonnaise into this plate. Can you see how I'm using the spoon to pour to slowly glide it onto this? This when I do both the plates simultaneously, it ensures that both the guests get equal portions. Equal portions. Otherwise, I might end up in a situation where one guest is getting more. Thank you. 